today I had nothing like spiked coffee. Thank you, crew. Oh, we're filming. This is Gavin Zanderton, and I'm here to discuss the chaos outside over Governor Patrick Dobson. Major death poll over the increased taxes. What an asshole. You can edit that. But, you know, things are getting really, really bad out there. I couldn't find an analysis anywhere around here that could make any sense for me, because they're all voting for this fucker. So I brought in somebody from Australia. My analysis, Mr. Lewis, how G'day. do you do? Oh, wonderful, thank you. Yes, I've come here all the way from Australia, and uh, I, I'm here just to resolve the issue at hand. Well, you know what? The death toll is really bad. Like, strange things happening. People killing themselves. The other day, somebody drenched themselves in skunk piss and died. It's, anything? Do you hear anything about that? Yes, no, and it's a similar thing that's going on in Australia, too. Someone else has drenched themselves in skunk piss, which is unusual because we don't even have skunks in Australia. So I don't know where he got his hands on that. Well, I heard that somebody in Australia got their hands on a box of jellyfish and, and tried to have anal penetration to it. Yes. That that came off bad, but I heard it was over Patrick uh, Dobson's campaign. Yes, that was a very unfortunate case, and that was actually the first recorded case in Australian history of anal penetration by a box jellyfish. Yeah. Um, so, yes, very upsetting. Um, and everyone's just, everyone's angry and hurt, and especially the gentleman with the box jellyfish. Yes, and I'm sure the box jellyfish is hurt too. Oh yes, um, he's he's in a total state of disrepair. Um, he's had to go through several uh, bouts of counselling. It's um, no one's come out of this a winner. Well, you know what? Especially the guy at the local zoo. You know, he was in the uh, ant eater cage, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, he allowed that ant eater to stick its tongue straight up his ass, and it came out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. And you know that. The guy died right there. It's all anal lately, and it's yeah. It's, it's well, they there. feel they feel that Patrick Dobson's fucking everybody up the ass. Yes. Yeah. It well, is both symbolic and metaphorical. Yes. So yeah, things are bad here, but I guess the Australians do not like uh, Patrick Dobson either. They, you guys, uh, I guess he was going to campaign over there and go on a trip to Australia. How did you guys react? Well, we reacted the, the, the way that Australians do, which is we got really drunk and then we went out and we started just just punching kangaroos. Yeah? Yeah, we just started attacking any that we saw and we just, um, that, that's how we handle a lot of stress in Australia. So, because uh, Australian uh, kangaroos can actually box back. So it was quite, as I said, everyone was hurting. Well, you know what? Be a great idea. Mm -hmm. Put him in a cage with cassowary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. that might work. Cassowaries are quite vicious, so yes. Um, hopefully he doesn't try to have sex with it because uh, cassowaries actually have teeth underneath, so it would be hard. Yeah, and I would say put it in with one of those taipan snakes, but he might convince it for its shape as a dick, you know? Mm -hmm. and That could go in all kinds of wrong directions. It certainly could, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fucked. We are fucked, yeah, both both metaphorically and literally. Yes. Well, you know what? It was nice to have you on the show today. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. You know, if you don't do anything later, you will catch a James Bell Samuel, Philip? Of course not. Of course not? Okay. Well, I'm with you there. Let's go get drunk. Okay. Okay.